think it's time we did a little exploration around Amity Garden. See what we can do. Am I allowed to bring the ugliest Pokemon with me? Yeah, yes, she's a Kranidos. <laughs> oh, poor Poopy Saurus. She can't go in. Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> I am a terrible trainer. Okay, come on, come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, you have the magical ability to teleport. If you don't catch up to me, I'm gonna get in some real serious trouble. Their security here is top notch. Take all my orange berries and, and keep them in a safe place. I, I didn't agree to make puffins. Gotta say, I'm quite the natural at this. <laughs> I made a foul puffin. <laughs> There's something shiny in Clefairy's hands. Let's pickpocket her. Grotto, you're, you're being really difficult right now. You gotta stop this. All right, I'm trying to get an item. All right, I think we're done here. I'm appalled. I refuse entry to my Pokemon. Feelings are valid, buddy. So I guess you'll be out of your Pokemon ball from now on? Anyways, you wanna... I felt Poffin. Tree ate the Poffin. I almost got thrown off by my rival's name, but I kept my guard up. I remained vigilant and braced myself for the inevitable. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't hold it back. I can't hold back the laughing. <laughs> can't wait for him to say, that's very sus, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I have summoned the baby. Bibano. Sounds like an Italian dish. Bibano. We have to get the Bibano from the Bibano store. A good rod is really good, wouldn't you agree? Yes, sir. Hi, I'm a Pokemon. No, you're not. You're not Oopy Doopy. No one is Oopy Doopy. We will never have another Oopy Doopy in this timeline. There's a broken, crumbling tower made of stone. And we, we got like this, this, this hole right here. And I'm gonna insert this odd stone into this odd hole. And then something terrible is gonna happen. Nothing terrible has happened. Listen, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a battle with your Pokemon. Everyone wants to have a battle with my Pokemon. Poopysaurus is looking around and searching for something. It's a better nickname. I'm standing directly over it. The Poopy has helped me find the mushroom. Time for the most difficult part of the video game. Doing a puzzle. Yeah, I got... <sighs> oh, all right. So I guess you don't really need to build up any momentum at all. You just destroyed the fun in the remake of the video game that everyone doesn't remember. Yeehaw there, partner! We got you, a B-Dolf! It's a B-Dolf and it has the buck teeth! Gahaha! <laughs> the B-Dolf! I'm playing a very dangerous game by showing this amount of disrespect. Beedolf! Look at the Beedolf! It's got the pearly white bucket teeth! It must use really, really good quality toothpaste! It's offensive because it transcends the need for basic needs. A Beedolf doesn't need churches made in its honor! I'm sorry to say, but Matthew McBacon is no longer here. Enjoy the rest of your night. All right, baby, I think it's time for you to return to your Pokeball. You have seen too many things for your age. I think I made a good call, because this is Silesian Town. This is where the Pokemon have their fancy time. Nobody looks to their right in this town anymore, because when the Lucario and the Gardevoir are about to have some time together, they, they just, they don't go anywhere private, they just, all right, we're gonna head on over to the Lost Tower before we explore the town. Go to Veilstone City? Nah, man, me and the boys, we heading over to the Cemetery Tower. The Platinum version is obviously much scarier, so eventually when they do, like, the re-release of Pokemon Platinum in the form of a remake, what's gonna go down is they're gonna... they're gonna make this place extra spooky. In fact, I'd even go as far as saying that the title of the remake for Platinum would be called Pokemon Spooky Platinum. Wah, ghost, get away, eek! Help me! Am I really that white? Look at this cute little slug with the big puckering lips. Mm, I got another ghosty. Look at it. It's such a scary, scary creature. It will stay in the corner of your room or some other liminal space. 
They will just stand there and do absolutely nothing. His name's Roughneck Kirby. What do you think his Pokemon's gonna be? It's gonna be a Cleffa. I see that you are a reference of another Nintendo IP. This is what Nintendo thinks of your stinky fan games. Gua. His body language do not fit the cries of defeat. I love how in a place that is basically the Pokemon Cemetery, we find a revive. I can't explain. Being here compels me to battle. Well, that's just because you're a very, very creepy Stan who's forcing your child to, to become a Stan like you. When my son turns three, I will make him get a dream tattoo. It's interchangeable with BTS. My sorrow has deepened. Pfft. Whoops. Did I do that? I don't want to look bad again, not when my boyfriend is watching. Then don't have a boyfriend, it's that simple. This makes me feel hollow inside. Oh, so hollow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they have such a terrible relationship. Made it to the top. I have the TM96s now. All right, can we use an escape rope to get out of here, if we have any? I would be very appreciated if I just so happen to have a random thing of hemp and rope. No, I don't. All right, we're gonna have to go down the long way. Not a problem. Not a problem with me. It's a fair distance from Salacion Town to Veilstone City. I suppose you can rest at the cafe, but that place? What, what about that place? Is, is, is there something very shady going on at the cafe? You know what, maybe to challenge myself, I'll, I'll go sleep there anyway. I'll sleep on the roof. Oh, welcome. You saw the notice outside about us hiring, right? I absolutely did not. Hey, I have an idea. Do you, do you wanna, you wanna work for us? Come on, work, work for us. The pay is good. I don't accept jobs from random strangers. I grow up, I wanna work for the Pokemon nursery. Have fun. Every so often, eggs will be found at the Pokemon nursery and they're found without anyone knowing how they got there. Is someone leaving them there? I really don't want to give you the answer because to just about everybody, the answer is very freaking clear. Imagine someone playing this for the first time and they haven't even played the original and they don't even notice the gaps between these trees. Something tells me that's gonna happen very often. Top right. At least that's what I think it says. You know, it'd be super funny if the, if the alphabet came to life and attacked me. There's something really weird about these ruins, like, it's like everything not in the perspective of the player, just, it seems blurry, don't you think? I have a rock for my protection against the alphabet. And the curse of the ruins, you see, the longer you stay in here, the blurrier you become. This place is teeming with unknown. They're the ones making us blurry, mate. The only way to be cured from this madness is to take the soul of someone who isn't blurry. I will go with Lipunchi. A lot of my Pokemon have very strange and questionable nicknames. I, f I feel like it's a series staple at this point. I cannot do a Pokemon Let's Play or a Pokemon stream without the nicknames just being downright... I don't know. I don't know what the word is. But, but viewer, don't you see? Don't you see? Don't you see what I have done? I have committed an atrocity against mankind! There, there, there is backstory behind it, though. Sur I'm surprised I was able to get that name past the censors. All you have to do is just have, like, something connected to the word poopy, and then, and, and then it just doesn't even pick up on it. E that big mushroom. The, the, that explains everything. It's, it's, it's just all a product of an hallucination. None of this is real. The E wasn't real. This Let's Play isn't real. Friendship, all lives towards other lives to create something anew and alive. I can speak two different languages. I I, I, I can speak English and I, I can I can speak uh, English. Time to get out the good old fashioned repel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spread across the face of whatever Pokemon wants to get up in my grill. Don't you dare break my grill, Douglas! I will use this fucking pepper spray! I've learned my mistake from last time! I thought he was on his cell phone calling the police. Just have a bunch of Pokeballs in a trash bin. Happini. Let's rip away its hap- 
happiness. Because that's what Pokemon is all about. Crippling the hopes and dreams of every other trainer that comes my way. I think it's time, buddy. It's time for you to get into the ring. Doesn't this trainer have a Rapidash? This is gonna be the Dark Soul... No, no, wait, never mind. So they, so they nerfed the trainer. Who's our cool little poopy Saurus? You wanna be scared? I'm so proud of you. Kill the skunk. And daddy will give you two biscuits. And daddy always keeps his word. I don't have any good ones. Poopy Saurus ate the poffin. And to her, it tasted worse than her namesake. Need biscuit number two? The biscuit didn't actually go into Poopy Saurus's mouth. It just like was thrown at its head and, and it just like crumbled on impact. Cafe Cabin. From fresh milk. Home of the milkies. This Pokemon is my pride and joy. Is it the Pokemon that is the milky Pokemon? I imagine in Gen 9 there's just gonna be a, a Pokemon that's a like a literal fucking bottle of milk. <laughs> it goes into the grocery store at night and steals the milk, putting it inside of itself for nutrients. I'm just waiting for a cat girl to be in the restaurant. No! I am so immature. I assume everybody here is a trainer. Yep, everybody here is a trainer. And they've all come for the milky. Oh, you want to do some RP? You want to do some RP? Okay, we can do some RP. As long as I get to be a crab. That's my one condition. My only condition. Knowledge alone isn't everything you know. You know what truly matters in this universe? Milk. <laughs> Milk. <laughs> $500 for one milk or 5000 for 10. You have made the wise purchase, my young milk woman. I will teach you the ways of the milk side of the force. I don't think that place is a real positive influence. Stay away from there at all costs. Toxic. Nah, I'm already toxic enough without it. Do unto as they do unto you. Yup, it's payback. And I got the TM66. Guys, I bought this game at a garage sale and there was a guy on Route 215 who gave me a TM. It was TM66. Six, six. And it was payback, but with a twist. For you see, as I try not to turn this into a joke about milk, I used the payback, and then my television exploded, and hellfire rained from the sky, and hyper realistic blood came out of my TV from the cracks, and then I saw Evil Omogus. <laughs> And he was accusing me of pirating the game! If it wasn't gonna be a joke about milk, it would eventually have devolved into it being about the name of my rival. Damned if I do, damned if I don't, it's a zero-sums game. <laughs> Something tells me this is a shortcut, and I don't cut corners. At least it used Flame Wheel during the rain. I have to say, man, you, you, you are a far better trainer than I could ever be. I assume he dropped out of high school. You know she was just a child, right? You know he was just a child, right? No, I gotta send in the teenagers to do a child's job.